I've been doing it now 12 years. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything else but this. Bars and trash cans, that's our, that's our biggest enemy right now. be nice if people would actually when they see snow is on the ground or snow is in the forecast make sure they do everything in their, in their power to get the cars off the roads in the driveways. Uh, we don't want to do damage to parked cars here we're going around one right now. So you can see it makes it kind of difficult. Uh, and then same thing with the trash cans. Trash cans make uh, make it kind of a, like an obstacle course for us. Uh, it slows us down quite a bit and it actually, uh, you know, the level of service goes down when we have all these trash cans and parked cars out the road as obstacles to try to go around. We don't want to knock them over. It just makes uh, oop, uh, more work for the, even the garbage hauler when he comes out. I know it probably make a difficult job for you. You got to go in and around. Or... It's, it's basically for emergency vehicles, they can get down the road safely. Also, your postal service, they won't deliver your mail if, you, if they can't get close enough to your mailbox. Next week, they're talking uh, warm-up coming up, and so what's gonna happen is things are gonna start melting, and uh, if we're not able to get all the way up to the curb, you're going to start seeing puddles and ice, is, ice forming up in front of people's houses. And it just crea creates a lot of hassle for the, uh, for the residents. To me, it's kind of peaceful, you know, when you're out there plowing and, and it's, you know, early in the morning, no traffic, the snow might be falling lightly, and it's just something uh, real peaceful about plowing.